to our YouTube fans. This year in 2016, we again are going to be going out to exciting paranormal locations. We want you to YouTube viewers to feel what we feel as paranormal researchers when we go out to explore very strange and mysterious things. Some of these things are quite scary. We want to put you, the YouTube viewer, in our shoes so that you can feel these sensations. That is the goal of 2016 as far as our YouTube channel, Strange Chronicles from the Greyberg Ship. We want to take these strange, mysterious, and sometimes scary paranormal stories and put you, the viewer, into those stories so that you can feel those experiences with us. To go for 2016, folks. What is it that you want to see most on this paranormal YouTube channel? Would you prefer to see more ghosts and hauntings? Come on, Edith, we need you to acknowledge that you're here by giving us some energy on the, uh, okay, cold air in my face. There on my face. It just hit me. It felt good too. Oh wow. Do you got it? Yeah, I want to feel it. Edith, are you here? I heard a mo- Would you prefer to see Texas Bigfoot sightings and experiences? It's a myth still in the making, a legend that has fascinated people around the world for hundreds, if not thousands, of years. Tales of a large, hairy creature roaming the forest, frightening unsuspecting travelers. K-10's Rick Springer has more on a North Texas family's search for answers after hearing strange noises in the night. For the last several years, a quiet family in the small town of Commerce, Texas, says they've been hearing strange sounds coming from the forest. Howls, they say, are so full and so deep that they vibrate your insides. Vocalizations they say no human is capable of making, even with a bullhorn. Bill Gibson and his family have been living in this house on the east side of town all their lives. Bill recalls the first time he heard what people in the area call the wild man of North Texas. Bill's son Jeremy was just 10 years old when he first heard the sound. He says he's been haunted by the creature ever since. You know, I know what's in there. I know what we're dealing with here. And what's in there? Something big. After years of silence, the Gibsons say the wild man has returned, waking them up in the mornings with its howls. Would you prefer to see Texas UFO sightings and explorations? Look, something just caught my attention. It was straight up that way, and it was pretty low. It was about an hour after sunset last Tuesday. Leroy Gayton noticed a strange light outside his home near Stephenville. Uh, I saw two red glows. They, they glowed, and then they kind of faded, they glowed again. And I kind of looked, so I thought, boy, that's just not right. Dozens of others out here in the country, including a pilot, a teacher, and business owners, report seeing the same thing. Dayton is a county constable. This the second that it, it, it went off, the other one appeared. By the time his eight-year-old son Ryan came outside, the red glow had turned bright white. Yeah, it was like going like right there and then going like that. It looked like it was faster than a jet. But they were, they were like a weird color. They were really, really bright. And I saw them doing this and just kind of moving around. Then they say the lights jetted across the sky. And then they just shot off this way. They just took off like that way. What was so astonishing is the speed that this thing took off. I mean, it took off so fast that it was like... The Air Force says it had no planes in the area that night. It wasn't an airplane. It wasn't a meteor because it wouldn't have been bouncing around, and it wasn't just only one light. So what was it? Gaten says it was like nothing on Earth. I, I've never seen anything like that. Uh, the, never. You see, there's a lot of mysterious things out here in Texas, folks. We want to show this to you. Texas has a very strange side to it. There's a lot of mysteriousness about Texas that a lot of people don't know. The state has a lot of paranormal to offer. I've been investigating the paranormal for nearly 20 years now, folks. I've seen a lot and I've experienced a lot. All members of our investigative group that have seen and experienced these strange things. I put you in the shoes of what a real paranormal researcher feels, folks. That's to go for 2016. Oh, and I need to take these off. You see, I like to wear sunglasses. It's always been a passion of mine. Maybe I wear sunglasses because it has to do with that song, Sometimes Our Future is So Bright. We gotta wear shades. Be sure to click the subscribe button, folks. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel.